Sure, he's packed on a few extra pounds since the Alpha series, but don't let that fool you. Birdie is a powerhouse of a character, a grappler who doesn't really need to rely on his command throws for damage. With an extensive set of tools to use from just about any range, and arguably the game's most terrifying V-Trigger, there are many reasons for you to pick up Birdie as your main character in Street Fighter V. Birdie's normals are amongst the farthest reaching of the entire cast, giving him an excellent footsies game. Their startup is a bit more sluggish than the rest of the cast, but their range more than makes up for it. Standing medium punch and standing medium kick are going to be your go-to pokes, as they both reach a fair distance and are safe on block. Standing medium punch in particular is useful as it is Birdie's best cancelable normal. You'll want to use Medium Punch Bullhead as your main special out of it. Standing Heavy Punch has enormous range, but a very long startup animation, and is negative 6 on block. Crouching Light Punch is a solid poke as well, reaching quite far for a normal with just 5 frames of startup. Standing Light Kick is good as well, with a fast 4 frame startup. It's also special cancelable, so this move will be your best bet for a quick punish after a block string or with special. Crouching Medium Punch is one of the best anti-air normals in the entire game, with a deceptively huge hitbox that can stuff even many cross-up attempts. It makes jumping in on Birdie almost always a bad choice for offense, as the move has a quick 6 frame startup and is incredibly simple to use on reaction. Crouching Heavy Punch is better saved for combos. Jumping Heavy Kick and Jumping Heavy Punch are both good as air to air normals or as jump ins, as both have massive hitboxes. Birdie also has a selection of special input normals. Bull Charge, done by pressing forward and heavy punch, is marred by an extremely long startup and also being unsafe on block, but it has very far range and most importantly, one hit of armor. It is also one of Birdie's two crush counters. Bull Dive, done by pressing down forward and heavy punch, sees Birdie sliding towards his opponent head first. It does allow Birdie to slide under fireballs and higher attacks. Bull Drop, forward heavy kick, is Birdie's overhead. It hits twice, with only the second hit actually hitting overhead, but it reaches very far and is often unexpected. Standing Heavy Kick will be your go-to move for crush counters and is a great combo starter. It does the same damage and stun as Bull Charge with less than half of the startup frames of animation, and leaves the opponent open for a strong follow-up combo. Bullhead will be the special you use the most often with Birdie. It is a simple charging headbutt with the range and damage increasing depending on the strength of the punch button used to execute the move. You should use medium punch bullhead the most, as it will hit out of a standing or crouching medium punch. EX bullhead hits twice and deals a massive 250 stun to the opponent. No version of the move is safe on block though, so using it at the end of a block string is not a good idea. Bull Horn is done by holding any of Birdie's buttons down for about a second, then releasing the button. It can be a deceptively good anti-air or good in the poke game, as the move has a lot of invincibility on its startup. This is another move that is good to use on reaction, as it doesn't even require an input, just simply the release of a button. 
EX Bullhorn is one of Birdie's best moves, as it charges forward similar to Bullhead, hits twice, and gains one hit of armor. Killing Head is Birdie's more traditional command grab, but is a special move you'll likely rarely use. And it's not that Killing Head is a bad move, its damage and stun outputs are amongst the best in the game for command grabs. It's just that Birdie has so many other tools to get damage at further range that you don't really need to rely on this move for his offense. This can end up working in your favor though, as the scarcity of its use can lead to it being an unexpected offensive tool. The move does have a massive 52 frames of recovery though, leaving you open to counterattack for almost an entire second if the move whiffs. Hanging Chain is a big part of Birdie's anti-fireball arsenal. With a good read, the chain can go through projectiles and grab the opponent for solid damage at range. Each version of the move has its own purpose. Light Kick Chain bounces the opponent off the wall and right back to your feet. Medium Kick Chain leaves the opponent further away, and Heavy Kick Chain can be used as an anti-air or as a combo ender off of a crouching heavy punch. All versions of the chain can be held as well by holding down the kick button used to execute the special, and will be either thrown when the kick button is released, or can be cancelled by tapping a punch button while the kick is still held. EX Hanging Chain has much faster startup and recovery than any other version of the move, and has an animation more akin to his classic Murderer Chain from the Alpha series. Bull Revenger is the command grab you are more likely to see in Birdie's arsenal. The range and strength of the move increases depending on the strength of the kick button used to execute the move. A far-reaching and often deceptive throw, Revenger is best used either after a block string for a mix-up, specifically with the light kick or EX versions, or as a fireball punish at longer ranges using the medium kick and heavy kick versions. The EX version has very short range, but the fastest startup and most damage, and it is the only version of the move that actually hits while Birdie is still airborne. Skip to My Chain is a straightforward critical art, a dashing headbutt which ends in a full throw animation. It can be cancelled into from any of Birdie's bullheads, so it's easy to confirm into. Birdie's meter usage can be a bit more limited compared to other characters, so expect to see this critical art fairly often. Birdie has three V skills at his disposal. Break time is simply Birdie stuffing his face with a donut, charging a small amount of V-meter. It takes six V-skills in total to charge one bar of Birdie's V-meter. Banana time has Birdie eating a banana and then throwing the peel on the ground, creating a temporary trap. This move is useful against very mobile characters like Rashid, as it limits their offensive options, and also to try to pressure your opponent into unfavorable positions. Drink Time has Birdie drinking an energy drink, then rolling the can towards the opponent. The can does very little damage, but it hits low and forces the opponent to either block or react, often with a punishable jump. Enjoy Time is an absolutely terrifying V-Trigger. It buffs almost everything about Birdie's moveset, adding extra hits to Bullhead, for example, or extra damage to pretty much everything. It even speeds up his walk speed and dashes. It also lasts for an extremely long amount of time. Once activated, don't expect the round to last beyond its duration. The fire that Birdie breathes on activation of the V-Trigger can even be used as part of a combo or as an anti-air. While Birdie is marred with generally unsafe specials and sluggish normals, his greatest weapon is the deceptive range at which his offense works. 
Birdie is best played not as a pure grappler, but as a character with a focus on footsies and hit confirms. Perhaps his single biggest weakness is that he has no normals that hit low that can be cancelled into his specials. So without setups into his bull drop, your opponent has virtually no reason to ever block high. Learn to love Birdie's standing medium punch and standing medium kick. They should be your most used buttons and can add up to quite a bit of damage, especially if you manage to land a few counter hits. Frustrate your opponent by playing at the max range of these pokes, and try to take advantage once they are forced to try to rush in and catch up to your life lead. Birdie's one real mix-up is to cancel a Light Kick or EX Bull Revenger out of a standing medium punch. This is often completely unexpected and also acts as a reset, as the Revenger won't actually combo with the standing medium punch. While it's tempting to throw out a Heavy Kick Bull Revenger to punish a Fireball at maximum range, I wouldn't really recommend it. It simply takes too long to reach the opponent, and chances are they'll have recovered from their fireball by then and will be able to punish you as if you were jumping in. Instead, try to punish with Medium Kick Bull Revenger from medium range. Liberal use of his V skills is very encouraged, as the setups and V meter boosts will force your opponent into action. After a hard knockdown, banana time is one of the best ways to set up a bull drop. You want to get Birdie's V meter filled as quickly as you possibly can. Enjoy time turns Birdie from a solid character into the character with the largest damage output in the entire game. It is during enjoy time that Killing Head truly becomes a threat as its damage buff is nothing short of incredible. Thanks again for watching everyone, and please leave your suggestions for upcoming character guides in the comments below. This has been Scan with GLHF TV.